All right, joining me now for the latest edition of Know Your Knights is Knights defenseman Joey McKirkey. And Joey, thanks for giving us a few minutes here. It's a busy week for you guys. I know you're just coming off a weekend of two games. you got two more in the next two days. So we'll start first with this past weekend. Um, you know, certainly a mixed bag. First game was great. You guys get eight goals and come up with an eight-win victory. You get your first goal. Yeah. And then uh, second game, not as, not, uh, I shouldn't say not as uh, offensive, but Certainly the uh, goaltender, Matt Ladd, for the Titans had a good game and, and kept things uh, to a score to a minimum. But anyway, with that weekend, uh, let's start with that first game. How did you think uh, that game went first for the team and then, of course, for you uh, getting that goal? Yeah, it was really good uh, Friday game. Mm -hmm. Just it was a fun game. Uh, forwards just creating offense mm -hmm. and just keeping it simple, making plays, and we got rewarded for it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, obviously with the goal is – Pretty awesome moment. Just wasn't wasn't exactly how I envisioned it happening, but, but uh, you know I'll take it. It was an awesome moment with all my teammates. So. Yeah, I mean, you guys were all kind of piled up in there in the crease, and then yeah, uh, yeah it was fun. To, you know, up in the press box up here, all of a sudden we see one man coming flying out of the the group there. It's hard to see who scored, and then right, we looked yeah. and, and saw everyone going crazy. So it's pretty easy to figure out. But yeah, definitely a cool moment. But then you're gonna play the Titans again. Um, you guys, like you said. Played on Saturday, you're gonna have them tomorrow. Uh, you guys are locked in one point separating between you know second and third place right now in the division. Uh, what's key to beating them tomorrow in New Jersey and then finishing, of course, in Philadelphia uh, on Wednesday? What's key in, in terms of uh, trying to jump up first into second place and then holding that for the rest of the way? I think it's just important that we keep it simple. I mean, that's really what we harped on in practice mm -hmm. the last day of really the whole year. Right. And just keeping it simple, especially against two really good teams like that, where like, if you try to do too much, they'll take advantage of your mistakes. Sure. So just keeping it simple, playing our game, playing nice hockey, and just you know trusting each other and trusting the process. In the last couple of weeks for you, not just the goal on Friday, but back to the Northeast weekend where you picked up four points. Uh, what's been clicking for you? I mean, I mean, you've always been a pretty versatile defenseman, and it's pretty easy to see you're a good puck mover out there, but you've been racking up the points lately. Uh, what's What's been clicking? I think it's just spread confidence as a group. I mean, we've had some injuries and a little bit of unlucky, and uh, just guys stepping up. And I, I mean, I got to give it to my teammates because I mean, we've all kind of used it as a motivating factor, and a lot of guys have stepped into bigger roles, whether it's ice time or special teams, like anything. And goaltending's been great, forwards have been great. Uh, just trying to pick up the slack and using and just being resilient and trying to pick it up the slack and sure. just getting some lucky bounces, I guess. Sure. Now, you've been here, you came on last season, been here now for just about two seasons. Um, what do you think is the biggest difference between last year and this year as just as a group, as a team, as you get ready for the playoffs? I mean, obviously last year you guys were a good team, but, you know, you went in and played Philly, had a tough draw there in the first round and yeah. didn't go your guys' way. But this year, what do you think uh, about the current group heading into the postseason? As, again, relative to last year's, what's changed? Yeah, I think we have a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. And this year, like, we're a younger group. We've known that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And so it's part of the focus here is just trying to keep everybody on the same page and keep everybody together and ready for the upcoming push. But, you know, we have a lot of potential and a lot of talent. Sure. And just putting that all together, the work and coming together as a unit and just using our skill and speed, uh, we can do something special, I think. Sure. All right. Well, we'll flip it over now to our uh, rapid fire segment. The uh, fun questions here for you, or at least we try. <laughs> we're going to throw a couple new ones in there, too. We, we, we're pretty repetitive this year. It's my fault. But we're going to get we're gonna give you a couple new ones in there as well as some of the older ones. But let's start with this one. Um, how would you get into hockey? How did I get into hockey? Let's see. That's my parents. Uh, my dad, he played hockey growing up. He was okay. actually a goaltender. Okay. But uh, I never really played goalie. But, you know, right – Kind of like right away, I watched it growing up, and you know my family's always been around hockey, sure. so just coming into it from my dad and my uncles, and, gotcha. and kind of loved it right away. Just, gotcha. yeah. Well, on the flip side, there, if you couldn't play hockey, what would you do instead? It can be a sport, it can be anything. What would be your uh, your alternative choice there? Let's see. I I'm a big sports guy, okay. um, so I'd find another sport. Okay. I guess. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Anything really, just football, basketball. I play like a bunch of sports growing mm -hmm. up. Baseball. I played baseball growing up as a kid. So, just finding something to just do for fun is 
a lot of competition. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, uh, we talked to Jack Olmstead at the very, very beginning of the season. Um, and, and, you know, I guess you guys both being from Michigan. Did you go to the same high school? Yeah, that's what the same high school. Right. And I think he said you were valedictorian. Is that true? Yeah, it is true. Yeah? yeah. What, uh, what would your career be after hockey? What, would, uh, what are you looking into? Um, I'm interested in finance. Okay. Just, you know, like stocks, business, that type that sure. kind of thing. And just, you know, dealing with, dealing with the money stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a valedictorian. That's a valedictorian <laughs> challenge right there. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so if you're going into finance and kind of the world of business, there, this is a question we asked uh, Tomeo last week. But uh, you could pick one teammate to run a business with. Uh, who would it be, and what would it be? Ah, uh, let's see. I'd probably <laughs> stick with the finance thing. Okay. I would go with just like trading stocks, that sure. type of thing. Uh, what teammates? Let's see. There's a there's a lot of good options. Yeah. Let's see, I might throw Farrell in there. Okay. Or Jack. Uh, but also Luke Robinson. Yeah. I know Tomato said that. You guys make a firm he's, a, or he's a he's a good numbers guy. I sure. Think, so I think yeah. we would do well. Okay. You know, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. And that that same game on Friday, he gets his first goal oh, too. Oh yeah. So that, yeah. That was exciting. It's good uh, camaraderie there between you guys. So. Um, all right, well, we'll go with this one. This one is, is one we, uh, we kind of started to ask, but uh, we kind of switched it up each time. I used to ask who the best player would be if you made this team in, in uh, you know NHL video game. Yeah. We get a lot of the same answers. Uh, yeah. So we, I kind of try to vary it up a little bit between the traits. Let's say if there was a, 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 a chirp rating in terms of, uh, I know that's not in the game, okay. but if uh, you could assign that to somebody, who would have the highest rating on your team in terms of uh, most creative trash talk out there? I think it's Michael Morrissey. Yeah. Um, he's, just got, he's just got a great sense of humor, yeah. and he just loves messing with guys, and it's like, it's like playful. Like, yeah. It yeah. really, I get a kick out of it. I think the boys love it, so yeah, I'd go with Mo. I, I don't know if you've seen any of the uh, the highlights this past weekend. Two goals in particular stand out in terms of some of the sickest moves of the year. Probably, or, you know, possible goal of the year candidates. Uh, William Carlson got one, and I think Claude Giroux got one this weekend that kind of mirrored each other, except a little little variance there at the end. But at the end of all that, you know, uh, we've seen a couple of those situations here for the Knights where you've had uh, you know shootouts or even just overtime or regulation, just some sick goals. But who would you say on this team has uh, has the best shootout move? That shoot I'm gonna have to get to Jack. Jack uh, I've seen it I've seen it a lot the one, through the, the years. The one in Blaine, if I remember, yeah. was pretty pretty nasty. I've seen him do it a lot through the years and he's got some variations with it. Yeah. Um but yeah, it's he's really his his hands are unbelievable. It's just that's just one of his biggest strengths for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and then um we'll go with uh one more I guess if you want to call it ratings questions, who would you say is the uh, best best hitter on this team? It's uh, it's hard to say. It's good amount of physicality, but who who lines them up in open ice better than anybody else? I think Mike Gillette. Gillette, okay. Big body, mm -hmm. obviously. Yep. Um, but we got we got some more guys too, like uh, Reader. Mm -hmm. Reader can throw the body True. and all and. Like Temple, like a bunch of guys, Lincoln's picking them up, picking yeah. up, I've noticed too, oh. which I, I like. So, yeah, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably give Mike Gillette, just big body. Sure, sure. All right. All right, we'll close it out on uh, on this one. This one we do ask everybody, it's the same question we usually end things on. Um, you're straight on a dessert on, you take one teammate with you, who isn't, why? I, I have to go with one of my roommates, um, either Jack or Farrell, mm -hmm. just because. I lived them the whole year. Sure. We, we get along pretty well. We have a good relationship. Um, I'll let Jackson be mad at me, but I'd probably give the nod to Farrell. Oh, okay. Just based on survival <laughs> skills. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'd have to go with Tom. But, right. yeah, we got a lot of good candidates on this yeah. team for that. It's a good group of guys for sure. Sure. All right. Well, Joey, we appreciate you giving us a few minutes here. Wish you the best of luck here. Hope to get a couple more goals here before the end of the year. And uh, the rest of the team as well as you guys get ready for the playoffs. Thank you, Tom. All right. Thanks for your time.